Hey guys, Shane here across at Jeff, helping you go further, faster in fitness. And today I want to talk to you about how to help you achieve your goals. One of the things that I tend to see people do is be a little bit unclear, a little bit unsure about what it is exactly that they want. They can be very vague. They can say things like, I want to lose weight. They can say things like, I want to be better at fitness. I want to be better at CrossFit. But for me as a coach, that is very challenging to, it's a very challenging thing to try and help somebody with if that is how vague they are. What I need you to do is to be very clear on what it is that you want. You should be able to write down at least an entire paragraph about the goal that you're trying to achieve. If you were in an elevator with someone, you'd be able to tell them exactly word for word. You should memorize it, exactly what you're going to do, how you're going to do it, and when you're going to do it by it. That way, every single day you wake up with purpose and intention. If you're just trying to lose weight, I mean, that might work. But if you are trying to lose weight to be the best version of yourself, to make sure that you're able to run around with your kids, so that your wife and you can live a healthy, happy life together, and having lost weight will help you have a better quality of life, it'll open up opportunities for you in other areas. If this is the type of goal that you are setting for yourself, if this is the type of energy you're giving towards that goal, you were going to be much more focused. You were going to have much more purpose when it comes to achieving your goal. So the choices that you make will be more specific. When it comes to maybe eating badly on the weekend, you're less likely to when you have that much clarity about why you're trying to lose weight rather than just trying to lose weight. The second point I normally talk about with this stuff is social pressure. I am a huge fan of social pressure. I think that a lot of us should put our goals out into the universe more often. We should talk loudly about what it is that we want and we should be able to tell everybody that matters to us exactly what it is that we're doing and why we're doing it. Uh, The benefit here is that those around you are going to be watching you and you know that they're watching you. You know that you said to them that you are going to lead a healthy and happy lifestyle. So if they catch you or they see you doing the complete opposite to that, It makes you seem wishy-washy and unreliable. And nobody, generally speaking, nobody wants to be wishy-washy or unreliable. So therefore, you would normally behave in a way that is going to back up what you're telling the world. If you tell the world that you're a badass, then you'll probably act like a badass. If you spend the time telling the world that you are helpful and happy, then you'll probably act in a helpful and happy way. So whatever you're out there telling the people around you, Um, you're going to start behaving in those fashions. So the social pressure or that social accountability when you put it out there to your friends and family is only going to come back at you. It's going to be a mirror. It's going to hold up uh, right in front of you and you are going to have to react and respond to that in a certain specific way. So that social accountability and that social pressure is very, very powerful. I think that we should all put up at least one or two posts every couple of months about what it is that we really want to be doing, whether it's our finances, our relationships, our friendships, our work, and see what comes back. The last thing is about actioning. After all the clear, precise paragraphs we've written about our goals, after all the people that we've talked about, all the social accountability we've chosen uh, to use, we still have to action it. And sometimes it's just about doing. Sometimes it's about going into the gym. Sometimes it's just about getting up and making a healthy meal. You have to action it. You can't wait and sit around in life and hope that somebody else is going to come over and do it for you. Someone's going to come pick you up and motivate you to go to the gym. Sometimes no one's going to do that. Sometimes, you know, you're going to feel shit and you don't want to go out and you don't want to go to the gym and you're not going to want to put effort in, but you need to realize that it's up to you to action your own destiny. Unfortunately, life is not easy. And that means that we have to put a significant amount of work in. Sometimes we've got to put more work into our goals than we really thought we needed to. Sometimes it's going to take maybe four or five months more, maybe even four or five years longer than we really thought we were going to need to be able to accomplish the goal that we set. But it all comes back down to action. Unless you're doing, you're not moving forward. You can talk about it, you can write about it, you can do all those things, but unless you put one foot in front of the other, you are not getting any closer to your goal. I was talking to a client just the other day and I said, it doesn't matter about the weight on the bar, right? (laughs) Hear me out. It doesn't matter about the weight on the bar if you have specific goals. If your goal is to be as strong as shit, then yes, it might matter about the weight on the bar. But generally, most other people's goals and things that I'm looking at with my clients, the weight on the bar doesn't matter. The time of your workout doesn't matter. None of that stuff matters. You know what matters? 
What matters is that you even actioned yourself into fitness today, even into movement. The fact that you picked up a bar, the fact that you did some burpees, the fact that you tried today matters more. That action means more than how much weight is on the bar or how fast your time was or what your AMRAP score was. So let's go over it one more time. You've got to be very clear and concise about what it is that you need from your goals, what you want to achieve from your goals. You need to have some social accountability. You have to have some social pressure. It doesn't have to be massively public, maybe amongst a few of your closest friends and family. That's all you need. The other thing is you need to action things. If you're not starting to put foot in front of foot, is that right? Feet in front of feet, then you aren't getting any closer. You have to go out there and you have to start doing. So hopefully these three points will help you get a little bit closer to your goals. As cliche as they may sound sometimes and you hear it over and over again, you've probably heard it before. At some point you have to realize that they are cliche for a reason. They, be, they are there because they are what is needed for you to get your goals. So one day you'll just go, you know what? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna be clear. I'm gonna be socially accountable and I'm gonna start actioning my shit and start getting it together and do it for once rather than always stopping. Because if you're not clear, you're not putting social pressure on yourself and you're not putting one foot in front of the other, you're really not working on anything. You're just talking about it or wishing for things to happen that will never happen without those three points. So guys, hopefully this has been helpful and uh, I hope to see you guys in the gym soon.